this pandemic was the best thing to ever happen to the Jersey Shore. And let me explain why that's the case. I'm here chilling, waiting for an order. I'm an Uber waiting for an order at this place here. That's a Wawa. You didn't see the sign. Wawa has built about up and down the strip that I'm sitting next to here. Wawa has probably built about five or six new uh, outlets, let's call them. And the same thing with um, over there. You can see that green sign over there. That's Quick Check. Same thing with Quick Quick Check. They has built tons of these convenience stores with the gas station up and down the Jersey Shore, right? And you see that that's the old style gas station over there. You see that? That's a what? What is that? A mobile station? Mobile stations, they never invested in their product. So you can see here, there's cars gassing up, but at the mobile station, I can see one car. I can see one car gassing up. Mobile, Shell, they never invested in their product, never invested in their brand. And now they're paying for it because the Wawa's the full service Wawa's, the full service quick check, they just have a better product, right? There's, it's spacious, right? It's not cramped like these old shell and mobile stations, it's not cramped when you go into the convenience store. And let me tell you, anyway, I uh, diverted a bit. The Jersey Shore, is packed with just human beings. I mean, I'm, I, I don't know what the numbers are, but people who have lived here for a long time are kind of upset that so many people have moved onto the Jersey Shore because of the pandemic. A lot of flight from other areas coming to the a lot of people coming here. It is amazing. It is annoying and is it amazing? Because I know economically speaking, it is amazing. Because when New York got tight, New York City, when they had the lockdowns, it chased people away. And the New Jersey governor, Chris Murphy, he's a businessman, you know, so he didn't get too tight in New Jersey. He kind of in New Jersey was kind of lenient because he's a businessman and he can see the numbers he can see what's going on so he didn't get too tight so people flee New York and they came to the Jersey Shore what happened housing prices skyrocketed a house that was 250,000 in 2020 became a house that is now 500,000, 600,000. One house was, I saw on the market um, in August of 2021. In, in 2020, August, that house was 500,000. The person this was asking $1.4 million for that same house. People were just coming and buying houses, cash, cash. And they were buying you out of everything. So you didn't have to worry about moving furniture and all this kind. They would just say, look, just leave everything. We'll buy everything. We'll buy all your furniture, all your this, all your that, all that. Because the Jersey Shore became hot. Now, I'm seeing a lot of tech companies now moving down to the Jersey Shore amazing I'm a tech guy a lot of tech companies moving down to the Jersey Shore 
a lot of um, distribution companies moving down to the Jersey Shore. The Jersey Shore is booming, booming. And it's a good thing and a bad thing because the people who lived here for a long time, they could see the changes, they could see the increased traffic, they could see the increased flow of humans, and it's kind of annoying to them. Hell, it's annoying to me. I have to drive around here every day and the traffic is just unbelievable. But that's the price of progress. The Jersey show is booming, without a doubt, without a doubt. That's my talk for today. So I'm just out here waiting to get an order. We'll see how that goes. I'm on Uber Eats only. Alright, bye.